do before I go? Let's see. Books balanced. Accounts accounted for. Petty cash. Eh, petty. Hey, I've been looking all over for those. Want a donut? This is not a refrigerator, it's a safe, and I intend to fill it with money. That's why I'm going to the Better Business Boot Camp. Oh, this business seminar stuff's a bunch of hooey. I can tell you how to make money just like that. You need common sense, and I've got the most uncommonly common sense. Well, I could use more dollars and less cents. Don't worry, we'll take care of everything while you're gone. Maybe I should just take a correspondence course. No, go! Don't you even trust me to run things for two days? Yes, if you just follow one simple instruction. And what's that? Don't do anything! That's what I do when she's here. Hey, I know, pet coconuts. Oh, no, nah, they'd never sell. Wait, wait, a watch chicken. <laughs> It'll guard your house and give you breakfast, too. <laughs> here you go, cuz. A lemon sludge and a pomegranate fizz. Heavy on the fizz. Yeah, put them on my tab as usual. Say, uh, you're a businessman, Louie. What's the secret of making money? Oh, I wish I knew, man. Business has been terrible lately. Oh, not you, too. What you need is a partner with a nose for business. Yeah? Like who? Like me. <laughs> with my know-how and your whatever, we'd make a fortune. What about me? Sure. The more the merry. Well, what kind of business could we be partners in? Well, I don't know, Louie. It's hard to think on an empty stomach. How about something to eat? Right, man. <laughs> I got just the thing. I got it. We can fly people's mail to them overnight. That way they get their letters the next day. Nah, never catch on. Who'd pay money just to get their bills faster? <laughs> we gotta give people something they can't resist. <laughs> One Louis special. Oh, boy. You make the best pizza anywhere, Louis. Yeah, too bad you have to fly all the way out here to get it. Hey, partners, that's it! Pizza pie in the sky. May I take your order? Pizza delivered by air anywhere. Guaranteed hot or your money back. I tell you, Louie, an idea like this can't help making money. Yeah, if somebody doesn't eat up all the profits, with your big mouth, I'm gonna run out of dough. And toppings, too. In a pizza business, you can never have too many toppings. <laughs> Except for anchovies. Nobody likes anchovies. And it's a good thing, too, because the only time I ever tried to eat them, I got... Hey, Louie, I hate to miss a good anchovy story, but it looks like we got some deliveries to make. Keep the pizzas flying. Don't worry, Louie. Before you know it, we'll be back with the dough. <laughs> the spending kind. <laughs> Stands to advertise in better igloos and ice gardens. Hey, somebody named Nanook order a pizza? Whoa, how's the weather up there? Cold. You call this large pizza? Well, stop bluffering. It says here you ordered a small pizza. I ordered large pizza. The customer's always right, especially large customers. <laughs> Pizza pie in the sky. If you've got cold cash, we got hot pizza. I thought this was guaranteed delivery in two hours. It's already midnight. Midnight? <laughs> Are you crazy? The sun's still up. This land of midnight sun, and it's cold. Oh, it's not cold. It's just room temperature. <laughs> I'll be right back. And don't forget the anchovies. <laughs> Nothing a blowtorch wouldn't cure. You mean we have to bring him another pizza? No way around it, kiddo. The customer is always right. Here you go. One large pizza, guaranteed fresh and hot. Hey, there's no anchovies. Oh, Louie must have forgotten. Well, no problem. <laughs> Nothing fresher than that. <laughs> I thought Rebecca was the only person in the world who liked anchovies. Oh, I guess that makes two of you. Maybe three. So what's wrong now? You aren't going to blame me for this, are you? What happened this time? You wouldn't believe it. But if you see a killer whale with mozzarella on his breath, tell him he owes us five bucks. We've used 400 gallons of gas trying to deliver 
for one pizza. <laughs> Our trouble is we started out too small. Now, if we're going to show Becky we can make it in big business, we got to think big. A secret to every successful business, advertising. <laughs> giveaway, the order should start rolling in. Louis Collins, see, Duck, come in below. See, that's probably an order right now. <laughs> Loud and clear, Louis. Great news, my Louis. We just got a big order for lunch. 200 pizzas. Well, with anchovies. But about those anchovies, man. 200 pizzas? <laughs> We're in business now, kiddo. We better stop off on the way to Louis and get some anchovies. How? We spent all our money on gas. Well, not having money's no problem. As long as you know somebody who does. Isn't this a little like stealing? Bite your tongue, kiddo. I'm not taking any money. I'm just going to borrow it uh, without telling Rebecca. A great gal, Becky, but no business sense. Think of this as a small business loan. A very small business loan. We better try Bob's discount house of anchovies. Yeah, hope he's having another scratch and dent sale. Lucky for us, Bob's Discount House of Fish has the best deals in town. Morning. I want to see a man about a fish. Well, well, fine, fine, well, fine. Anchovies and make it snappy. Oh, yes. Uh, then by that you mean you want anchovies. Is that it? Yeah, anchovies. Little guys with salad oil all over their bodies. Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. I see anchovies there. You're absolutely sure. This is Bob's Discount House of Fish, isn't it? Why, yes, it is. And you do sell anchovies, right? Of course, just not today, you see. We're uh, fresh out. Fresh this place? I have some very nice catfish. No. Flounder. No. Pollock. Nope. Wahoo. No thanks. You feel like a big crab. Not yet, but I'm getting there. Ah, I have just the thing. Perhaps I could interest you in a tasty octopus. Mm -hmm, yum, yum. Mm. Look, Bob. Your sign says special today. Anchovies. Come on, Lou. We'll go buy a can of tuna. Nobody will know. Uh, I came in for anchovies. I'm going out with anchovies. Now, businessman to businessman, are you saying you're completely and totally out of anchovies? Well, I do have a few left. I thought so. So they've gone a bit off. I don't care. But gimme. Right. But you won't like them. Oh, that boy's been breathing too much brine. Geronimo! What are you doing, Louie? I make tomato sauce the old-fashioned way. I stomp it. If you're gonna make 200 pizzas by lunchtime. Oh, oh yeah, fuzzy. About that one that's supposed to have the anchovies, man. I... Relax, Louie. I got it covered. Some of them are a little irregular, but I got the whole barrel for a dollar. What are you talking about? Anchovies. Oh, can I smell a bargain or what? Oh, I must have lowered his overhead too fast. I think he's sick. Mm, he does look a little green around the gills. Maybe he's allergic to something. Anchovies, anchovies, anchovies. Oh, if Louis sick, then who's gonna make all those pizzas? Yeah, and how am I gonna pay back, Rebecca? Well, the dough ought to be mixed up by now. How are we doing for time? Well, okay, if we can make 200 pizzas in one hour. No problem. All you gotta do is think, babe. Now that's what I call making pizza dough in no time flat. How was that, kid? Off target. Ten degrees. I never could hit anything with tomato sauce. I'll try to do better with the toppings. Switch into autopilot. Okay, kiddo. It's all yours. Now we're cooking. <laughs> Afraid not. We don't have enough time to cook the pizzas and deliver them. Oh, too bad we can't do both at the same time. You're a genius. Surprised I didn't think of it. Oh, oh man. Anchovies. Anchovies. I hate anchovies. I wish Louie could go with us. Yeah, he could help carry this oven. Now this pizza business is really going to take off. <laughs> Got it. 
is enough. I am phoning for reinforcements. The anchovies. Oh, they're everywhere. There's, there's millions of them. Oh, the slimy little fins and those, those beady little eyes. My, yeah. I, can, I can almost smell them right in front of me. Well, you'll never take me alive, fish face. Do it. I'll take that and some of this. I just want to use the phone. Ah, don't jive me, old grown puppy. Whoa, you idiot. I'm not an anchovy. This is an anchovy. Yeah. Oh, this is over. I'm treating it better to an easier job. Uh, you know, there's something really exciting about getting a new business off the ground. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> Before you know it, we'll be rolling in dough, and then Becky will see who really knows how to run a business. Where in Cape Suzette are we supposed to deliver these pizzas anyway? It's that new hotel outside of town, the Takeover Hostel. The Takeover Hostel? Isn't that where Rebecca's business seminar is? Oh, man, I should have known things were going too good. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen next. <laughs> <laughs> There's a grease fire at the pizza office. <laughs> Which way are we at? Look out, We gotta put the fire out. Yeah, when I put a fire out, I put it out. Malou, how are we gonna cook the pizzas without the oven? Well, we'll just, uh, uh, hmm. There's only one way I know to cook 200 pizzas in five minutes. All set? Ready when you are, Malou. Guaranteed hot to on your money back. Takes a hot pilot to fly through a volcano. How much longer, Baloo? Oh, I'm starting to feel like an anchovy. I hate anchovies. Uh, you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, bail out of the kitchen. I smell something. Sulfur and brimstone? No, it's hot pepperoni. One with anchovies. <laughs> the pizza's done. <laughs> we did it, kiddo. Last month. Yeah. We made it. Hey, no sweat. Now all we gotta do is deliver these pizzas without Rebecca seeing them. Yeah. Business is competition. It's winners and losers. Do you wanna be losers? Sir, no, yes, sir. Do you wanna be winners? Sir, yes, yes, sir. Well, let's hear you be lean, mean business machines. Yeah. I can't hear you. <coughs> Grr. Timid, huh? Well, that kind of namby-pamby stuff won't cut it in the business world. You gotta stand up on your hind legs and make a big noise. My, that was a big noise. <coughs> uh, lunch. Uh, seminar. Dismissed. Uh, so far, so good, kiddo. But keep your eyes peeled for... Whoops. Did you remember to make one of those with anchovies? Whew. Well, I guess nobody needs to teach you guys how to make money. There you go, $500. Thanks! 
It's worth it, though, just to see Becky's face when she eyeballs this herd of shaboozies. <laughs> Talk about being surprised. Do I choose what home safe, eh? I'm with the health department. Flat circular foods division. I'm trying to book it used to. For what? Fly in a restaurant without appointment, $100 fine. Operating heavy equipment without a chef's license, $100 fine. Drop a tomato sauce from a height greater than 30 feet, $200 fine. Not to mention... Enough already. What do all these fines add up to? The total comes to four hundred ninety-nine dollars. Goodbye, boys. Mm -hmm. Right if they find work. Next time you decide to go into business, check with us first. Remember, we're here to help you. Yeah, to help yourself to our money. Well, at least we book even. Get your hands off that safe. Dipping into petty cash again, Baloo? <laughs> How was the seminar, Rebecca? The seminar? Oh, it was very interesting. I learned all about how to make a business grow. I mean, grow. In fact, I came up with a great idea about how to make money. We had pizza today for lunch, okay? But it was delivered by a real bunch of losers. Filthy, plain, disgusting delivery people. Anyway, if a company like that can make money delivering pizza, then higher for higher could make a fortune! Balloon? Get? Mm. Well, some people just can't handle success. Mm. 